logical descriptions of the order entry and sales process. The logical data flow diagram starts with the level zero diagram. This is the most abstract level of the diagram. An order could be submitted via mail, telephone, fax, electronic data interchange, internet, and so forth. But the good thing about logical data flow diagram is that we don't need to know the form by which the order is being transmitted. All we need to know is that the customer has submitted an order to the order entry sales process. So the diagram here is the order entry sales process is the only process or the abstract process that we have taken. Now this process connects with the objects or the concepts uh, which are input and output to the process. So there are four uh, objects here, customer, and then the general ledger, then carrier, shipping carrier, and then the, the ledgers, which is uh, the accounts receivable and uh, the, the sales and sales ledger. So uh, the general ledger on one side and then the subsidiary ledger on the other side. So four objects here. So if you now look at the customer, customer makes the order, places the order, and now that because this is abstract, at the abstract level, and once the order is been approved, customer is being acknowledged of the order, and then the general ledger inventory says gets updated, and the order is now approved, and then the, the packing slip goes to the carrier and uh, the carrier, once the goods are shipped, uh, then there's bill of lading um, that the carrier would, would be having. And on the subsidiary ledger side, the sales order information and it's been notified and the sales subsidiary ledger gets updated. And once the ship goods are shipped, shipping billing notification is done, the accounts receivable subsidiary ledger gets uh, updated. The context diagram is the next level of the expansion of the level zero diagram. Context diagram is to now expand the sales order process into uh, more detailed processes. And there are three uh, processes that can replace the sales order process. Uh, one is, first is validate sales order, then complete, second is complete picking list, third is execute shipping notice. Along with this context diagram are also the associated databases and these databases are also shown here uh, and, and their updates are also shown. So the inputs and outputs are identical to those shown in the context diagram and the, the databases or the data stores, there are five data stores uh, that are associated, uh, the customer master data has to be updated, inventory master data has to be updated, marketing data has to be updated, sales order master data has to be updated, and accounts receivable master data has to be updated. The order entry sales process is responsible for performing data maintenance and 
um, master data update for each and every sales order event. So if you look at uh, graphically, um, validate sales order, the level zero diagram shows sales order entry and the sales process as a single process. And the next level of expansion is the context diagram. The context diagram replaces that single process into three processes and they are validate sales order, complete picking ticket and execute shipping notice. The first one validate sales order associate with all five databases customer master data, inventory master data, marketing data, sales order master data and accounts receivable master data. The second process is complete picking ticket. It's the intermediary process between the uh, validate sales order and execute shipping notice. Execute shipping notice is the third process and it's associated with two master data, sales order master data and inventory master data. When order entry and sales process take place, there's an event that is occurring and that event leads to data maintenance and when the event is completed, the master data must be updated. So if you look at these three processes that replace the order entry and sales process, first one, validate sales order, customer place an order, and then customer's order is acknowledged. To acknowledge to do that, accounts receivable master data is called upon to check. And then the marketing data is updated for the product or service being inquired upon. Inventory data is checked for availability of goods. And sales or the master data is checked whether previous sales have been made to the customer. And once it is finalized, accepted, a picking ticket is raised and this picking ticket is now completed. It's the second process here. And the completed picking ticket is is now goes into executing the shipping notice, which is the third process. To execute this, the shipping notice, the completed picking ticket has to be received. Once it is received, then a packing slip is, is prepared for the career and bill of lading is also prepared for the career. Now, to complete the the shipping notice, the sales or the master data is now inquired upon and then updated. Inventory master data is inquired upon and updated. And the general ledger is also updated for the inventory and sales. The diagram one is about validating sales order. We can replace the validate sales order process or sub process into three processes and these could be a sub sub processes verify inventory availability check credit levels of customer complete sales order visually verify inventory availability when the customer order is received and then marketing data is updated and then the inventory master data is being checked whether inventory is available. If not, then it's rejected or a back order is placed with the approval of the customers. If the inventory is available, then credits are checked. Credit limits of the customer is checked. For that, accounts receivable master data is inquired upon and the customer master data is also inquired upon. If credit limit is not satisfactory, the place order is rejected. If the order is accepted, 
then you complete the sales order. Once the sales order is completed, the sales order master data is updated and then the credit limit is informed to the credit uh, check-in department as well to update records. And the inventory master data is updated for taking the goods uh, to sell. And there's a picking ticket that's being sold. And at, for, for selling purposes, a picking ticket is raised and customer is acknowledged for the sales order and sales order is being notified to the uh, warehouse. The inventory master data is inquired upon uh, to that there is a sales order that's coming and order has been placed. The diagram two is about completing picking ticket. There are two that uh, order uh, that that process can be replaced with two sub processes match goods with picking ticket and enter quantity picked if you look at visually picking ticket is received and then it's matched with the goods to see whether the order and picking ticket match otherwise it's rejected and the match picking ticket is now leads to entering the quantity that's been picked from the warehouse. And the, there's a completed picking ticket that's been prepared to send it to the shipping department. The shipping notice is the third process that can be replaced with two processes, match sales order with picking ticket and produce shipping notice. Matching sales order to match it matches with the picking ticket otherwise it gets rejected sales order master data is being inquired upon to do that uh, to whether whether sales order has been placed and once it is matched that sales order it leads to producing a shipping notice which is the second process here and to do that uh, the inventory master data is being checked to see whether there's sufficient inventory is available and a bill of lading is prepared, a shipping, uh, shipping billing notification is prepared, a packing slip is prepared, and then the inventory master data is now updated to decrease the inventory, and there's inventory in the general ledger, inventory and sales are updated.